The United States women's national soccer team USWNT represents the United States in international women's soccer. The team is the most successful in international women's soccer, winning three Women's World Cup titles including the first ever Women's World Cup in 1991, four Olympic women's gold medals including the first ever Olympic women's soccer tournament in 1996, eight CONCACAF Gold Cup wins, and ten Algarve Cups. It medaled in every single World Cup and Olympic tournament in women's soccer history from 1991 to 2015, before being knocked out in the quarterfinal of the 2016 Summer Olympics. The team is governed by United States Soccer Federation and competes in CONCACAF, the Confederation of North, Central American and Caribbean Association football. After being ranked number two on average from 2003 to 2008 in the FIFA Women's World Rankings, the team was ranked number one continuously from March 2008 to November 2014, falling back behind Germany, the only other team to occupy the number one position in the rankings history. The team dropped to second on March 24, 2017, due to its last place finish in the 2017 Shebelieves Cup, then returned to first on June 23, 2017, after victories in friendlies against Russia, Sweden, and Norway. The team was selected as the U.S. Olympic Committee's Team of the Year in 1997 and 1999, and Sports Illustrated chose the entire team as 1999 Sportswoman of the Year for its usual Sportsman of the Year honor. On April 5, 2017, U.S. women's soccer and U.S. soccer reached a deal on a new collective bargaining agreement that would, among other things, lead to a pay increase. History The team played its first match at the Mundialito tournament on August 18, 1985, coached by Mike Ryan, in which they lost 1-0 to Italy. Topic 1990s. The U.S. team's first major victory came at the 1991 World Championship, retroactively named the 1991 Women's World Cup. The U.S. cruised to lopsided victories in the quarterfinals and semifinals before defeating Norway 2-1 in the final. Michelle Akers was the team's leading scorer with 10 goals, including both of the team's goals in the final, and Karen Jennings won the Golden Ball as the tournament's best player. Julie Foudy, Christine Lilly, and the rest of the 1999 team started a revolution towards women's team sports in America. Arguably their most influential and memorable victory came in the 1999 World Cup when they defeated China 5-4 in a penalty shootout following a 0-0 draw after extended time. With this win they emerged onto the world stage and brought significant media attention to women's soccer and athletics. On July 10, 1999, over 90,000 people the largest ever for a women's sporting event and one of the largest attendances in the world for a tournament game final filled the Rose Bowl to watch the United States play China in the final. After a back-and-forth game, the score was tied 0-0 at full time, and remained so after extra time, leading to a penalty kick shootout. With Brianna Scurry's save of China's third kick, the score was 4-4 with only Brandy Chastain left to shoot. She scored and won the game for the United States. Chastain famously dropped to her knees and whipped off her shirt, celebrating in her sports bra, which later made the cover of Sports Illustrated and the front pages of newspapers around the country and world. This win influenced many girls to want to play on a soccer team. Topic. 2000s In the 2003 FIFA Women's World Cup, the U.S. defeated Norway 1-0 in the quarter-finals, but lost 0-3 to Germany in the semi-finals. The team then defeated Canada 3-1 to claim third place. Abby Wambach was the team's top scorer with three goals, Joy Fawcett and Shannon Box made the tournament's all-star team. At the 2007 FIFA Women's World Cup, the U.S. defeated England 3-0 in the quarter-finals but then suffered its most lopsided loss in team history when it lost to Brazil 0-4 in the semi-finals. The U.S. recovered to defeat Norway to take third place. Abby Wambach was the team's leading scorer with six goals, and Christine Lilly was the only American named to the tournament's all-star team. 2010s 
In the quarterfinal of the 2011 Women's World Cup in Germany, the U.S. defeated Brazil 5–3 on penalty kicks. Abby Wambach's goal in the 122nd minute to tie the game 2–2 has been voted the greatest goal in U.S. soccer history and the greatest goal in Women's World Cup history. The U.S. then beat France 3–1 in the semifinal, but lost to Japan 3–1 on penalty kicks in the final after drawing 1–1 in regulation and 2–2 in overtime. Hope Solo was named the tournament's best goalkeeper and Abby Wambach won the silver ball as the tournament's second best player. In the 2012 Summer Olympics, the U.S. won the gold medal for the fourth time in five Olympics by defeating Japan 2–1 in front of 80,203 fans at Wembley Stadium, a record for a women's soccer game at the Olympics. The United States advanced to face Japan for the gold medal by winning the semifinal against Canada, a 4–3 victory at the end of extra time. The 2012 London Olympics marked the first time the US WNT won every game en route to the gold medal and set an Olympic women's team record of 16 goals scored. The National Women's Soccer League started in 2013, and provided competitive games as well as opportunities to players on the fringes of the squad. The US had a 43-game unbeaten streak that spanned two years. The streak began with a 4–0 win over Sweden in the 2012 Algarve Cup, and came to an end after a 1–0 loss against Sweden in the 2014 Algarve Cup. The USA defeated Japan 5–2 in the final of the 2015 World Cup, becoming the first team in history to win three women's World Cup titles. In the 16th minute, Carly Lloyd achieved the fastest hat-trick from kickoff in World Cup history, and Abby Wambach was greeted with a standing ovation for her last World Cup match. Following their 2015 World Cup win, the team was honored with a ticker tape parade in New York City, the first for a women's sports team. Sports Illustrated celebrated them with 25 covers of the magazine. President Barack Obama welcomed them to the White House, stating, This team taught all of America's children that playing like a girl means you're a badass. Before going on to say, Playing like a girl means being the best. On December 16, 2015, however, a 0-1 loss to China in Wambach's last game meant the team's first home loss since 2004, ending their 104-game home unbeaten streak. In the 2016 Summer Olympics, the U.S. drew against Sweden in the quarterfinal. In the following penalty kick phase, Sweden won the game 4-3. The loss marked the first time that the US WNT did not advance to the gold medal game of the Olympics, and the first time that the US WNT failed to advance to the semi-final round of a major tournament. After the defeat in the 2016 Olympics, the US WNT underwent a year of experimentation which saw them losing three home games. If not for a comeback win against Brazil, the US WNT was on the brink of losing four home games in one year, a low never before seen by the US WNT. 2017 saw the US WNT play 12 games against teams ranked in the top 15 in the world. The US WNT heads into World Cup qualifying in fall of 2018. Topic: Team image. Topic: Media coverage. U.S. TV coverage for the five Women's World Cups from 1995 to 2011 was provided by ESPN, ABC and Univision, while coverage rights for the three Women's World Cups from 2015 to 2023 were awarded to Fox Sports and Telemundo. In May 2014 a deal was signed to split TV coverage of other U.S. WNT games between ESPN, Fox Sports, and Univision through the end of 2022. The US WNT games in the 2014 CONCACAF Women's Championship and the 2015 Algarve Cup were broadcast by Fox Sports. The 1999 World Cup final set the original record for largest US television audience for a women's soccer match with 18 million viewers on average and was the most viewed English language US broadcast of any soccer match until the 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup final between the United States and Japan. The 2015 Women's World Cup final between the US US and Japan was the most watched soccer match, men's or women's, in American broadcast history. It averaged 23 million viewers and higher ratings than the NBA Finals and the Stanley Cup Finals. The final was also the most watched U.S. Spanish-language broadcast of a FIFA Women's World Cup match in history. 
Overall, there were over 750 million viewers for the 2015 FIFA Women's World Cup, making it the most watched Women's World Cup in history. The FIFA Women's World Cup is now the second most watched FIFA tournament, with only the men's FIFA World Cup attracting more viewership. Topic: <laughs> Attendance. The 1999 World Cup final, in which the USA defeated China, set a world attendance record for a women's sporting event of 90,185 in a sellout at the Rose Bowl in Southern California. The record for Olympic women's soccer attendance was set by the 2012 Olympic final between the USWNT and Japan, with 80,023 spectators at Wembley Stadium. Coaching staff Topic Team Topic Current Squad The following 21 players were named to the roster for friendly against Scotland on November 13, 2018. Caps and goals are current as of November 13, 2018, after match against Scotland. Topic: <laughs> Recent call-ups. The following players were also named to a squad in the last 12 months. Notes. Pre – Preliminary squad Pro – Provisional roster Topic. Recent schedule and results The following is a list of match results in the last 12 months, as well as any future matches that have been scheduled. Topic. 2018. Topic 2019 U.S. Soccer Schedule U.S. Soccer Results USA – Fixtures and Results, FIFA. Com Topic Competitive Record For results in minor tournaments, see the history of the United States women's national soccer team. Topic: All-time results. Sources: http colon slash slash www.worldfootball.net slash teams slash usa dash frauen dash team slash twenty one slash all-time results. https colon slash slash www.fifa.com slash live dash scores slash teams slash country equals usa slash women slash matches slash index. HTML all time results topic main the two highest profile tournaments the us team participates in are the quadrennial fifa women's world cup and the olympic games topic world cup The team has participated in every World Cup through 2015 and won a medal in each. Topic: <inaudible> Olympic Games. The team has participated in every Olympic tournament through 2016 and reached the gold medal game in each until 2016 when they were eliminated in the quarterfinals on a penalty shootout loss to Sweden. Topic Minor Topic CONCACAF Championship and Gold Cup Won the US team directly qualified for the nineteen ninety nine FIFA Women's World Cup as hosts of the event. Because of this, they did not participate in the nineteen ninety eight CONCACAF Championship, which was the qualification tournament for the World Cup. Topic: Algarve Cup. 
The Algarve Cup is a global invitational tournament for national teams in women's soccer hosted by the Portuguese Football Federation FPF. Held annually in the Algarve region of Portugal since 1994, it is one of the most prestigious women's football events, alongside the Women's World Cup and Women's Olympic football. Since 2016, the Chebelives Cup has gained more interest from the very top-ranked teams USA, Germany, France and England and thus shifted some attention from the tournament. Topic: Player records. As of November 13, 2018, active players are shown in bold. The women's national team boasts the first six players in the history of the game to have earned 200 caps. These players have since been joined in the 200 cap club by several players from other national teams, as well as by five more Americans: Kate Markgraf, Abby Wambach, Heather O'Reilly, Carly Lloyd, and Hope Solo. Christine Lilly and Christy Rampone are the only players to earn more than 300 caps. In March 2004, Mia Hamm and Michelle Akers were the only two women and the only two Americans named to the FIFA 100, a list of the 125 greatest living soccer players chosen by Pele as part of FIFA's centenary observances. The USWNT all-time best 11 was chosen in December 2013 by the United States Soccer Federation. Goalkeeper, Brianna Scurry Defenders, Brandy Chastain, Carla Overbeck, Christy Rampone, Joy Fawcett Midfielders, Christine Lilly, Michelle Akers, Julie Foudy Forwards, Mia Hamm, Abby Wambach, Alex Morgan <laughs> Most goals in a match The goal record is five for most scored in a match by a member of the USWNT, which has been accomplished by seven players. Topic: <laughs> Head coaching history. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Honors. See also USWNT All-Time Best 11 Dare to Dream, the story of the U.S. Women's Soccer Team 2005 HBO Documentary List of women's national football teams Women's Association Football Around the World United States U-17 Women's National Soccer Team United States U-20 Women's National Soccer Team United States U-23 Women's National Soccer Team Women's United Soccer Association WUSA, 2001-03 Women's Professional Soccer WPS, 2009-11 National Women's Soccer League NWSL, 2013-present Soccer in the United States United States Men's National Soccer Team